it's great to see you. How are oh, you? Yeah. Good, you look great. You have some sense for that. I need a lot of therapy. I'm enjoying this. Hello everybody, welcome to another part of Therapy TV. My lovely patient today, Justin from Antiflag. Hello, very nice to see you. Nice to see you. Are you going to tell me about my mental psychosis? Is that what That's therapy correct. TV is? Okay. I'm Dr. Nina. I'm trying to help you today. Very good to see you, Dr. Nina. I need lots of help. Yeah. I I thought so. So <laughs> my first question is um do you believe in coincidence or in destiny? Hmm. Uh, I I believe a little bit in both. But I'm more likely to tell you that things happen for a reason. I'm more I'm more likely to believe that. So when things something is seemingly bad, sometimes it ends up being the best thing that ever happened to you. And I've I I've had that happen to me. So so I believe I believe that's very possible. I remember like v many years ago when we were starting out, like playing a show, for example, and there t there were only maybe like three people at the show, and it just seemed like a terrible show. And you're like, what? Why did we? I have to go now. Yeah, you're like, why did we drive 500 miles here to play for three people? You know. But it turns out that like those three people are like some of the best friends that right. you know, to this very day. You know, and I, I've just had so many things like that happen, and I, I just yeah. think it's about. It, approaching things in life with a positive attitude and just believing there's something good even when things seem bad. That's true, yeah. And um, yeah, when you when you think of your life, what would you say how important is your relationship to your parents and how would you describe your relationship? Uh, my parents are great. I mean, if, if if it wasn't for my parents, it probably wouldn't be any anti-flag. Um, I grew up actually quite poor, but my parents somehow still helped us buy our first van, and they still let us practice at their house and things like that. I mean, even when they didn't have the money, you know, they'd be like, no, take this money and buy a van. You know, like they really believed in the band. And, you know, it was great that there was one day when, you know, I, I know they lent us that money never imagining they would ever get it back you know and then one day we paid them back i think they probably like almost both had heart attacks and died you know they just did not expect it um so yeah i mean it's great and you know i mean i think some of the guys in the band have good relationships with their parents and some of them don't and uh, it's definitely harder um when you don't you know and it's uh it's really i think it's really special if you can uh you know to if you can have a good relationship with your parents I mean, you started in 1993, so yeah. next year's 20, 20 years. years. And it's, I mean, I can imagine that parents sometimes come to the point like, okay, why is my son not working in a bank, uh, yeah. for example? So, but your parents always um, yeah, supported you, and, and, yeah. and was music no rebe rebellion for you? No. No, because my parents were total rebels, mm -hmm. you know, to this very day. You know, um, they they're they're quite old now, but you know, um, my mom was one of the very first people that my dad was aware of who was against the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. Because what most people don't probably remember uh, in the United States, the Vietnam War, just like every war before it, was a very popular war when it started, and it took a very long time for people to start to question whether it was a good war. But my mom actually, my dad said, it's like, oh, she's one of the very first people, even when he still believed in it, she told him it was wrong, and he was really surprised by that. Um, they, you know, they, they, they were both uh, civil rights advocates uh, uh, in working in, in civil rights for minorities and. Um, they were really active in the anti-nuclear um, uh, arena, which is interesting because Germany now with, uh, you know, the choices that um, the people of Germany have made as a result of the accident at Fukushima. And it's, it's really inspiring to see that the people of Germany have, have told their politicians no. You know. I mean, it's it's something special about anti-flag that it's not a band doing music just for fun. I mean, you have a message, and you're always right. telling the people what's your opinion, what they should do, and stuff like that. Well, and my parents were a huge part of that. You know, I think that they they had that influence. I mean, they had a vegetarian restaurant when I was mm -hmm. a kid. It was, <laughs> you know, it was like things like that. I mean, in and the 90s, in the 80s. Yeah, in the, the late in the 70s, 70s, late 70s, yeah, oh. yeah, oh my god, no, exposed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so um, 
so my parents did have a, a really big influence on the band, which, mm -hmm. you know, so there was never that, hey, kid, get a real fucking job kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Now, our, our drummer, on the other hand, did have that experience. You yeah. know, his parents couldn't understand why he wanted to sleep in a van for three months and, you know, Bring eat around with crazy people. Yeah, and eat, eat peanut butter jelly sandwiches and never take showers. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and um, it took them a really yeah. long time. And then we finally played a really big festival in the U.S. called the Warp Tour and they, they came and saw us on the Warp Tour and he said that was the very first time his parents were like you when know what realized, oh, yeah, that's cool yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were like I I, we think you know what you're doing man yeah I'm proud now. yeah, yeah. But it took a long time Let's talk about the, the band. I mean, 20 years, a, a lot of change in between. Pat and you, you are still very, very close. Yeah. And um, I want to show the people, this is anti-flag. Right and on. you have to choose <laughs> who is who, please. Oh, wow. So who, right. who is well, who? Them, and <laughs> let's, let's get rid of the obvious. Okay. okay, and put it on here. This is obviously number two. Here is it? it? Is I thought two. that you would pick this one for you. No, no, because you know why? Because I like to party, <laughs> and that makes me a pirate. Arr, and, and I'll make you, I'll make you walk the plank, matey. Arg. So that's. And you're me. the rich one. Yeah, yeah. sure I am. <laughs> if you say so. Um, this would be Pat. <laughs> Pat is. Pat, is he a little bit like uh, the mother in the band? Or yeah, he is. He is the mom in the band. You know, it's sort of like if anybody wants to do something, they know they're gonna have to go through Pat. <laughs> he wouldn't bring you flowers, and uh -oh. he uh oh, you're yeah, destroying he would, he would everything. Stomp on the flowers, <laughs> and I don't think he likes sports, so he probably wouldn't win a trophy or go ice skating. But he would wear a skirt. But he would wear a skirt because <laughs> he just thinks that that would be badass. And then this is Chris Head. Not because this pirate really wants to party, but just because this pirate has a pig leg and he's pro this is a brooding, angry pirate, and Chris is often brooding and angry. So this pirate's just kind of like our. The, the Keith Richards he's, of, of anti flag. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, darg, just don't mess with me or I'll, I'll put a bullet in your back. So there we go. I like That's that. I like that. That's perfect. Let's come to the next lecture. Okay. So um, this was um, the family system therapy, band okay. therapy thing. Okay. Now cool. we have the analyst source. Okay. Analyst okay. source. Okay. We need. Do you know the uh, Rorschach test? It's a of German. Yeah? yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe. First musician who knows the really? Rorschach. Okay. Go ahead. Oh my God! Really? Yes. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let's see. Uh oh. So now I have to tell you what uh, this what come first thing that comes to mind. No, you have no? to fold it. Oh, I do. Fold okay. Fold it once okay. or, or twice. Okay. Up to you. I'll do it once. Yeah. Once. Okay, and then that. Oh, <laughs> and I'm I'm, I'm bleeding. <laughs> ah! Okay, here we go. And now, oh. Pussy Riot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you see? That's cool. Yeah. That's There's Pussy Riot. Two members. And the. Uh, I see a, a very beautiful butterfly. I saw, I saw that second. Yeah. Yeah. Pussy Riot. That's it. Just so you understand, members of Pussy Riot, I'm not saying this because uh, <laughs> you're all quite beautiful. Actually, <laughs> what came to mind was was the uh, Lishnikovs, the or the the um, the, the the head yeah. coverings. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. I like so. Uh, that's okay. good. Now we have lecture number three. Can you please? Yes. Uh, uh, um, draw, draw, no, not handwriting. Draw a little house, a house. Okay, this is how Justin Sane draws a house. <laughs> oh, very nice. The windows. Mhm. Mm very beautiful. House. But this house is going to be a and little, little different. Door. No, another window. And then this house is going to have have a special door. Oh wow! <laughs> it's like a smelly face door. It's kind of like a creepy clown. Oh, yeah, I can see this. Yeah, that's a it's like a terrifying. Good. And this okay. is yeah. Next is a tree. We need a tree. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh. This is 
is my tree. It's a Christmas tree. Yeah. So yeah I Very love, beautiful. I love Christmas. And we need a sun. A sun. All right. Very okay, good. yeah. And then we need a snake. Mm. Okay, we'll just... He's a little snake. He's hissing. <laughs> okay, and then we need a, um, a pathway. Okay. We'll make it through, like, this in here. Well, that's okay. really bad, yeah, yeah, but yeah, okay, you get, you get the idea. That's good. And then we need uh, a little fence. Like a picket fence? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. what do you like it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not much of a fence drawer. But we'll make a little, little picket fence going across the front. Good. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And last but not least, we need an X. An X. X. Oh, cool. I think the X should go near the snake. Okay. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's good. So now we, ha I have to analyze. I'm Dr. Nina, okay. and you're my patient. It, it looks quite good. Okay. You don't Thank you. have to be scary. So concerned. the house, yeah. the house is you. Oh. Okay. I would say it's a very beautiful house. Well, of course, of handsome. course, handsome and and a little detailed. So it's intelligent, you and he loves <laughs> himself. Yeah, it is oh, good. And nice. the tree is uh, your family, family, oh, okay. or it could stand for partner oh. family. And I would say the family is very big in your life. Yeah, it's but important. It's a, it's a very right. Yeah, it's important, and it's it's standing a little bit higher, it so it's, it's taking care of you, and it's. A little bit bigger. The sun I'm enjoying this. Okay. stands for good luck. So Whoa. good luck is very big. Jeez. I had someone who was drawing like a uh, drawing like a, a little. <laughs> and you were like, oh my god! Oh you, my god! You're gonna he is die. So lucky. But this is good. It's, it's, it's a big. Okay. Um, it's shining over you, giving you a lot of sunshine. So Wicked. We yeah. Good life. Okay. This um, means. Um, to protect something, mm. if you, um, for example, some people just um, draw it across the partner. So it means they want to keep it or uh, protect only um, the partner or the family. Okay. I would say that this means that you want to protect everything, that it's all in the picture. That so makes sense. it's not yeah. only around you. And the snake actually okay. stands for sexuality. Oh man! It's like it's an excited <laughs> snake. It's ready to. Run. It's like let's do this. And I would say that the snake is coming on this um, way. The pathway. The yeah. pathway, crossing your partner, and I think it's on the way to you. So it's in a good direction. That's what I like to hear. I would say. You're a good patient, oh, and right. um, wow, maybe I'm not gonna axe murder anybody. That's oh, what yeah, I. And, and the axe, yeah, very. Oh, that's good. That's good because the last musician, I don't tell you the name, he put <laughs> the axe like double size of the house inside the house, <laughs> and he put on blood. Wow, <laughs> it was it was, that like was the bodies. crazy, yeah. really crazy. Oh, so man. yeah, I really cool. like this. Right. Can, you, can you sign it? Of course I can. Cool. So and then I have um. Two, three more questions. Okay. Uh, what is your biggest fear in life? My biggest fear in life. Uh, I, th hmm, I don't want to jinx myself here, but um, I would, I would say probably uh, having no one to love. It's That's a, true. It's a pretty shitty thing. No, I don't want to have that happen to me. Yeah. yeah, I'm absolutely sure yeah. you will have someone. Okay. Luck and everything. Cool. So that's very good. Okay. And um, I think I don't know. Who's someone came. Okay. 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 And what was your best decision in life ever? My best decision in life ever. Meeting mm. huh. Pat. Um. Never. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? My best decision in life ever was to move to London. I moved to London. Mm -hmm. and what it, happened there? It totally changed my life. It made me take chances and risks that up until that time I was afraid to take. Wow. Which is interesting because I think to start a punk rock band and decide you're going to do it for your entire life, which I did when I started a band, whether we were successful or not, I knew you know punk rock was just a way of life mm -hmm. for me. So you would think a person like that would be willing to take risks but i i think that i was very 
conservative about taking risks in a lot of ways. And when I moved to London, it was just so do or die. It was like, look, I'm going to go do this. And I'm going to have to be willing to deal with a lot of circumstances and things that are going to be out of my control. And they're not going to they're not going to be the kind of things that I would normally have on control when I'm mm-hmm. on tour or when I'm back in the United States where mm-hmm. things are easier for me to navigate. And it just made me it just made me a more loose, fun person. It, it, it forced me to not be afraid of things and to have a good time. And now I have a lot more fun in my life as a result. So I think that was a really great choice. I mean, it's one of the best choices I ever made. Cool. Yeah. I would say perfect last words from Justin from Anti Flag. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers, doctor. Oh my God, I caught yours. <laughs> <laughs>